Now, one of the main themes in the Detroit Auto Show this year is sustainable mobility. And here you're looking at vehicles that are going to be able to get better fuel economy, have fewer emissions, and make the automobile industry look much more environmentally sound than it has in the past. In late 2007, President Bush told the auto industry that they were planning on demanding that the manufacturers increase their fuel economy for each of their fleets by 40 percent by 2020. This past year, in 2009, President Obama upped the ante on this challenge by saying that they wanted the same kind of 40 percent uh, increase in fuel economy uh, by 2016. But luckily for the manufacturers, they had started, even by early 2008, to start designing vehicles that would meet the demands that the government was requesting for them. Some will be here in 2010, uh, most will be here in 2011. There's the Chevy Volt, Chevrolet looking at very completely new technology, plug-in hybrid technology. They're also bringing in a lot of smaller vehicles, smaller than they had in the past. There's the Chevy Spark that will be out very soon, the uh, Chevy Cruze, as well as the Chevy Aveo, where the, that is already out on the market, but they're actually coming out with a tuner brand of this vehicle to make it a little more interesting uh, for the younger folks. The Ford Fiesta, which is something they announced about a year, year and a half ago, uh, a vehicle from Europe that they're bringing over and redesigned for the U.S. They're also showing the brand new world premiere of the Ford Focus. Uh, a four-door or five-door hatchback developed for the U.S. and for the world a as a whole. And also the uh, North American Car of the Year Ford Fusion Hybrid that gets up to 41 miles per gallon highway. Uh, so this is a mid-sized vehicle in the market now that is Ford is really doing well with. Uh, the other thing is the uh, Ford uh, Connect, which is a European-style small truck that can be configured in many different ways. Here you see Ford, like the other manufacturers, using different technologies to try to meet the needs uh, of more fuel efficient vehicles. Chrysler Corporation, that is partly owned by Fiat, has not had a good small car strategy for years. And with Fiat, they are bringing over a number of vehicles that are going to be supporting them in helping to meet their uh, fuel economy uh, regulations, standards, and goals the uh, Fiat 500. When it comes to the United States at the end of uh, this year, it will be still uh, badged as a Fiat, I think, but still sold at, at Chrysler dealerships. A small car uh, that is, being, is very popular in Europe and is going to be a part of the beginning of the transition of Chrysler. The other vehicle is a concept vehicle that Chrysler showed uh, this year. It's a uh, Chrysler grill on what is a, a Fiat vehicle called a Lancia. This is the first year that you've really seen uh, the European manufacturers uh, show hybrids uh, as well as diesel engines as well, and even some electric vehicles. European uh, gasoline has always been so expensive that they already have small cars. So it really, moving to small cars is not something new for, for the Europeans. It becomes a matter of how do you control emissions, especially CO2 emissions. And they're trying to do this either with hybrids or some, some with diesels after using, uh, after treatment, uh, but also we're looking at electronics. Now when we talk about the hopes and dreams for the Asian manufacturers, uh, uh, you have Honda showing the new CRZ, smaller hybrid vehicle, kind of reminds people of the CRX from the 1990s. Toyota is showing the uh, compact version of a Prius. There'll be a, a family of Prius vehicles, of which this may be one of them. It's a concept vehicle. Uh, Nissan is not very well represented here, except for its electric vehicle called the LEAF, their sustainable mobility plan. And also, you can't forget about uh, Hyundai Kia. Hyundai that's looking at the beginning of its, its own hybrid program. And it showed a concept vehicle for them as well. Now the hopes and dreams that are part of the Detroit uh, North American Auto Show are pinned mainly on the willingness of consumers to buy the new vehicles that are part of a sustainable mobility strategy. Downsizing some cars and actually bringing in a number of vehicles that are smaller than we're used to and maybe even more of them and more varieties of them than we're used to. 